Good day to all today we are going to discuss the topic excavation hazards and its control. The collapse of signs this is one of the main hazards in the excavation. Type of soil structure is an important factor. What might appear to be a safe soil structure can change dramatically with changes in the weather. Then the next one is physical hazards. Materials falling onto people working in the excavation. People and vehicles falling into excavation. People being struck by machinery. Undermining nearby structures. Contact with underground services. Access to excavation. The next one is the chemical hazards like fumes from vehicles, plant, CO2, methane, other gases, contaminated land, previous use, biological hazards, leptospirosis, previous use for example hospitals, drains, sewers, rubbish and waste, control measures, tight ladder provides safe access and degress, guard rails to prevent falls, Bowling boards extend above edge to act as tow boards. Supported by timbering and props. To avoid collapse of sides. Batter sides and dents. Support with timber, sheeting or proprietary support systems. Use 1.2 meters as a guide for support, but assess conditions at all times. Even work in shallow trenches can be dangerous, especially if bending or kneeling. To avoid materials falling into excavations. Do not store spoil or other materials close to excavation, they could fall in or cause sides to collapse. Provide guardrails and tow boards where necessary. Wear hard hat in excavations. People and vehicles falling into excavations. Provide guard rails and tow boards, 2 meters. Use stop blocks to prevent vehicles overrunning. Keep vehicles away from excavations wherever necessary. People being struck by plant. Keep workers separate from moving equipment where possible. Plant operators should be trained and competent. Undermining nearby structures. Make sure excavations do not affect footings of scaffolds or foundations of nearby structures. Provide temporary support for structure if necessary. Surveys of foundations and advice of a structural engineer may be necessary. Avoiding underground services. Look around for obvious signs of underground services for example drains, patching of surface etc. Use cable locators to trace any services. Mark the ground accordingly. Use service plan. Dig trial holes by hand. Hand dig if in doubt, particularly for plastic cables which cannot be detected. Have emergency procedures, contact in place. Safe access and degress. Create steps in excavation. Provide good ladder access or other safe ways of getting in and out of the excavation. Fumes. Do not cite petrol or diesel engine equipment such as generators or compressors in, or near the edge of, an excavation unless fumes can be ducted away or area can be ventilated. Protecting the public. Barrier off all excavations in public places to prevent falls. Nursoi. Where people may get onto the site out of hours, backfill or cover excavations to reduce risks. Supervision. A competent person must supervise the installation, alteration or removal of excavation support. People working in excavations should be given clear instructions on how to work safely. Inspections. A competent person must inspect. At start of shift. After any event likely to have affected strength or stability of excavation, and. After an accidental fall of rock, earth, and other material. A written report should be made after most inspections. Stop work if inspection shows excavation to be unsafe. We are Prevention Pro for all industrial safety training please contact us on www.preventionpro.in Inquiry at preventionpro.in Subscribe our channel for more safety training videos.